of the Washington Patriots, Terry Ray. Coach Ray, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you guys doing today? We're doing well. Coach, uh, it, it was a win for your team over Brook, 19-14 last week. Just kind of take us through the game, and what were your thoughts on it? Uh, uh, it was a tough game. Uh, uh, we found out that we can win some of them tight wins when we go on a four-and-a-half-hour trip away to play an away game. Uh, we had some turnovers and some penalties that that, that – uh, affected us a little bit here and there, especially on the scoreboard. But uh, I was happy with the win. You mentioned penalties, turnovers. It's kind of been a little bit of a common theme each time we've talked to you here the past few weeks. But with that being said, you're still on the winning side of things this time around against Brooks. So how, how much does, I guess, that maybe show that your team, even when times get tough, can step up and still find a way to win? I was happy. I told the boys after the game, when you get in these tight games, we got to figure out ways to win. Uh, Penalties-wise, we play aggressive on defense right now, so we're getting PI calls and a couple roughing uh, passer calls that affect us and give them free yardage and first downs. But overall, I mean, I I was happy with the win. The kids played hard. We played four quarters of football. Because you talked about trying to find ways to win on the road, especially with the long trip. Um, What do you think that has shown the most about your team in in terms of these road trips and and how you've maybe seen some improvement from last year or this year? I was happy with the way we traveled. Uh, Anytime you get on a bus and drive four and a half hours away most of the day and then get off the bus, try to stretch out, get yourself in your routine to play is a little bit difficult. Uh, We tried to make it a really good trip for the guys. We we stopped and stretched. We stopped and did walk through. We had dinner, and then we went to the stadium. Uh, I was happy with the outcome and the way we traveled. Hopefully we can keep that going as we travel more this year. Coach, what are some other thoughts about uh, just the specifics of that game against Brooke? What else you learned about your team here three weeks into the season? Uh, our defense is is playing really well right now. I, I was very happy. Uh, offensively, uh, I thought Michael played a pretty decent football game. Our running attack totally blew up that night. Michael, Tavon, Allen didn't have as much yardage as Tavon and Michael, but he contributed. Uh, Isaiah Beard came up big a few times on some of the screen plays we had. Uh, I was just happy with the overall um, of how when it got tight late in the game, we were able to make stops and we were able to score to win the football game. Yeah, because you mentioned that your defense continues to play well. Has there been a specific part of the defense that you feel like has really stood out, or is it just the entire unit flying to the football? It, it's an overall group effort. Our, our run defense has done well, but our pass defense has done well. In high school, when, when you're only giving up 14 points or less most of your games, you're doing something. It's, So, Trey, uh, we lost you for a second there, if you're still there. I'm there. You got me now? Yep, got you now. Yes, our our defense, it, it, they're playing well. We're, we're flying around. We're having fun. We're aggressive. Uh, Out into the, the game planning, the film, and the time we have in the classroom. This week, you guys take on John Marshall at home. Just give us your initial thoughts on this week's game. Uh, John Marshall has a real stingy defense. Uh, they hold they held George Washington two weeks ago to 14 points. Uh, their first game against Marietta, they only gave up 10 points. Uh, their traditional style offense, they, they run a lot of uh, twins with two backs. Every once in a while, they'll get spread. Uh, they uh, I see them, and it looks like on film, they like running the ball. Uh, it's it's going to be a good game for us. We, we're going to have to uh, play tough defense against the run, and offensively, we're going to have to take what they give us. As you watch them on film, what are some things that you think, uh, I guess, that maybe your team needs to do better this week to make sure that you can uh, win this one? 
we we definitely have to play a little bit better on the offensive line this week. Uh, we still, again, it's like a reoccurring thing. It, the turnovers on offense, uh, we're averaging two to three turnovers a game on offense right now. It's just simple ball security and, and making correct reads. Uh, if we limit the penalties, that's going to help us a lot too this week. Uh, but overall, we're going to have to play four quarters of football. We're going to try to avoid giving up big plays on defense. Our offense needs to execute and pick up first downs and score and our special teams need to play solid. If you guys do win on Friday, you have win number three to uh, tie your win total for last season. How, how much would that, I guess, give a boost to your team moving forward into that halfway point and then second half of the season? Uh, getting the the three and one it will be really good for us. Uh, the kids and I were talking on Monday when uh, – we were in the film breakdown session of uh, we're on five game home lose streak right now. We're trying just to get off that and get a win at home. Coach, you mentioned the turnovers being an issue, and early in the season, you talked about Michael Thompson maybe making a, a few risky plays that didn't need to be there. Uh, as the season goes on, how has Michael developed as the quarterback and? Um, obviously, sometimes it's good to take some of those risks as well. So how has he learned when to take the risk and, and when to maybe hold off on those on those throws? Uh, Michael's gotten better. Uh, he still gives me a little bit of a, a indigestion sometimes or a heart attack when he tries to squeeze some stuff in. But he's reading the defense as well, and he's trying not to push and win score every time he throws the football. Uh, he surprised me last week with his ability to run the ball. Uh, he had three rushing TDs. Uh, most of our turnovers last week came off fumbles with ball security. But uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the way Michael's progressing. Uh, Braylon Holmes even got in for two series because we, we've been packaging him in. I thought he did really well running the football. Um, he only got one pass attempt, but Braylon's coming along as well. All right, Coach Ray, any other thoughts for this week? If not, we'll get to the fun question and let you go. Uh, it's homecoming week, so hope everybody comes out and enjoys yourself this weekend, the JM game. All right, fun question for this week is uh, what is the most memorable sporting event that you've uh, been to or been a part of? Oh, I have a bunch of those buttons. The most memorable sporting event I've been to, I had the opportunity to coach my son in his state championship in wrestling in 2017. Uh, that was a real mem uh, memorable moment, just not as a coach, but as a dad. All right, Coach Ray, thank you for the time. I appreciate it, guys.